What's up guys and welcome to Web Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip you're learning how to measure your heart rate using the Amazfit GTR2E. Now this GTR2E is the budget friendly smaller brother to the GT2 line of smartwatches from Amazfit and luckily they did not strip down the heart rate monitor in this budget smartwatch. And so there are two main ways of taking your heart rate measurement. First is the manual method and the other one is the automatic heart rate monitoring. So to take a manual measurement, all you need to do is first of all, make sure you're wearing the watch correctly. And by correctly, I mean it should be sitting snug on your wrist and the heart rate sensor should be on your skin. So make sure it's not too tight and make sure it's not too loose. It's just sitting snug on your wrist. And then of course you want to press the upper button which brings up the main menu and from there you should be able to see heart rate and you can tap on that and give it some time to take your current heart rate. And there you go, so that's my current heart rate and it's going to continue taking your heart rate for as long as you're on this screen. Now if you want to exit, simply press the upper button again and it's going to exit. And this manual measurement simply gives you the heart rate measurement right now. Now you can also configure your smartwatch to take automatic heart rate measurements. And to do this, you need the Zep app on your Android or iOS device. Now make sure the watch and the app are synced already. And then you want to launch the app and then tap on profile in the bottom right side. And then under my devices, select your watch. Mine is the GTR2E, like I mentioned. So tap on that and then you want to go to health monitoring and once you're there you should now be able to select uh, the detection method. Now at the top there where it says detection method, tap on that and then you want to set your watch to automatic heart rate detection and sleep assistant detection. So make sure you turn that on and then with that turned on you want to go to the next setting which is detection frequency. Now how frequently do you want your watch to measure your heart rate? So tap on that and you can choose either every one minute, every five minutes, every 10 minutes or every 30 minutes. Now, the higher the frequency, the better the quality of that information, but then also it drains through your battery quicker. So you might need to charge your smartwatch a little bit more often. So for me, I'm going to choose, for example, every 30 minutes and my watch will take my heart rate measurement every 30 minutes. Now, there's an extra option there that says heart rate a lot. And this basically lets your watch alert you when your heart rate goes above a certain value. For instance, uh, if you turn that on, you can see currently my alert value is at 150 BPM. So anytime my heart rate goes above 150 BPM, it's going to alert me with a vibration on my watch and let me know exactly what's happening. Now you can adjust that by selecting any other BPM you want or any other heart rate measurement you want. Tap OK and your watch will now alert you every time your heart rate goes above that particular BPM. Now, if you set automatic heart rate monitoring, your watch will send that data to the app on your smartphone and you can view it in form of a graph and get all that data that you need. And you can be able to see how your heart rate changes through the day and when you do activities. But that's really how to measure your heart rate using that Amazfit GTR2E. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.